Dave Parody here with another slide makeover video podcast based on the ideas in my book, The Visual Slide Revolution. Today's slide comes to us uh, from a workshop that I did recently and somebody had sent me these slides. Again, they, they send me presentations and I do some makeovers so that they can see the ideas in the workshop applied specifically to their presentations and the slides they use. So here's the slide that was sent to me. This organization was involved in monitoring uh, water quality in a particular area during this time period that it shows. And this is a great example of something that we deal with very often in our presentations. This graph is actually an image. It's not created in PowerPoint. So it's been created in some other program and it might have been put in a PDF document or just supplied as a graphic file. And it's dropped onto the slide. Now the challenge is as a graphic file um, you can't you can't change it. And in this case, some people would say, well, we'll just recreate the slide in PowerPoint. That's possible when you have the data, but in this case, you don't have the data. Now, it might be easy to kind of guess at the data because there are, you know, there are lines here you can kind of do a pretty good guess at, but it's not always going to be possible. It also doesn't give you flexibility in terms of building the data because it is a single image. We've talked about another uh, times we in the video I have on my site where we talk about how do you take an individual image and break it up. I want to show you a slightly different technique uh, today. So what's in the image by the way? Um, the title, uh, I've grayed out the one part for you, uh, the legend and then the graph. So let me show you how I redid this slide and then we'll talk about some of the principles. The chlorophyll A level decreased from June 1st to July 31st in our monitoring. If we take a look at Bowie West, we can see that it dropped dramatically and then stabilized. The same with Bowie North and with Bowie South. So here's what I've done. I have, first of all, a better headline, which is something that all of our slides uh, need to, to do, and that's why it's the first step in the, the method in the book. It's the simplest thing you could do to improve the, the slides that you have. What I've done here is I've uh, used the technique of being able to take in PowerPoint and draw some freeform lines over the existing graph, the image that's underneath, and then because those are drawn in PowerPoint, I can then animate and build those. So I've ident I got rid of the legend because that's distracting. And we know that from the research that's been done. Got rid of the title because it was du just duplicative anyways. And now I can make the graph bigger easier to see and then I draw these lines and put the text on that explains what's going on in the graph. When you have one of these images here are some lessons that you can use to improve the effectiveness of that particular slide when you've got a graph that's coming in as an image from another source. First of all eliminate some of those distracting elements like the legend, like titles, maybe there's some other stuff that's there by simply cropping because this is an image in PowerPoint you can crop out from each of the sides and so what I did is I simply cropped out the legend I cropped out that title to get a focus on exactly just what we wanted to look at then enlarge the graph because you've now cropped some of the sides off you can now make it bigger well, that makes it easier to see and anytime you can make it easier for the audience to see it's all the much better add any text you need to explain the graph. In this case, uh, the text was associated with the lines, but there might be other text you need to add to point out certain things on the graph, which are important for your audience to know. And by adding the text in PowerPoint, you can then build it uh, text by text. And finally, if you've got some points that you want to show data trends, add free form lines that you can custom build on top of the image as I did with those three different colored lines. Then you can build those one by one, talk about it, and it makes it easier in the in this case, again, that data was very hard to see because the, the little marks were not very distinct. With a line, you can make it thick and easy to see. So when you've got a graph that's coming in from another source, use these lessons to improve the effectiveness of that slide in your presentation. If you want more information on the book, go to www.visualslidevolution.com for more information on my workshops, consulting, videos, and other resources, go to www.thinkoutsidetheslide.com. Again, this is Dave Parody with another Slide Makeover video podcast.